now we have our tip of the week and Warren is going to talk about copying following a query we had uh, on our email group this week. So here we are talking about copying and pasting or, you know, selecting text and things like that. Let's say you have a message in your messaging app or you want to share that or you want to copy that and, and append it to something that you already have. And so that's what it is. We got a few email messages on our forum and it has to do about copying or appending something to something that I already have. I'm here on my Google Keep and I'm using my Android 11. I am not using an Android 12 uh, powered phone because I'm going to be using something that most people have. And so using Android 11, and I don't have multi-finger gesture support on this, so I'm using the old method here. I have this note open up on my keep, uh, keep notes that I was talking about exiting WhatsApp, and I sent it to all my friends on WhatsApp. And Thanks, hi. In lieu of WhatsApp policy change with respect to users' data and all of that we're in, our data will now be shared with third-party partners of theirs with Facebook, having access to all of that. So that's what I was, I was telling my friends, hey, I'm going to be switching to Telegram. You know, if you don't have Telegram uh, and you still want to be in touch with me, you better switch to Telegram. So that was what the crux of the, the matter is. And so when I am in an editing mode, if I tap anywhere here, and so I want to say, for instance, I want to copy maybe the beginning of that um, high or whatever and put it at the end. So, for instance, I will then activate my editing feature. And you can always go into your uh, talkback settings and choose how you activate your editing feature or how you activate... Uh, the customization of something like, you know, show actions or uh, something like read from next item and all of that. All of this is found here in the talkback menu, which I could just quickly go into before talkback we do menu. this. Repeat last three hides, three voice commands, talkback settings. Hi. So if I, I go into talkback settings and then I go to customize gestures. Vibration. Customize, customize, customize gestures. Customize gestures. Navigate up. Button out of list. So like I said, my Android 11 that I have, unless if you have Samsung device, then it will have the multi-finger gestures. Or if you have a Pixel 3 or higher and you are still on Android 11, you'll have those multi-finger gestures. But I am doing this on a Pixel 2, and therefore it does not have those uh, three-finger and four-finger um, gestures and all of that. So all I have is the single um, one-finger gesture or two-finger, and I don't even have the taps. So here is what, Move navigation, focus what I'm talking forward. about. Swipe down, move navigation, focus forward, or adjust reading control down. So I'm going to go to the next heading. So I'm going to... Characters, speech, links, control, headings. And I'm going to swipe down. One finger back and forth, heading. And under that heading... Swipe up, then down, previous reading control. Swipe down, then up, next reading control. Swipe left, then right, show custom actions. That's the one I reassigned. Sw swipe right, then left, next reading control. Showing items 12 to 22 of 26. I'm going to go to the next. One finger angle, heading. And. Swipe up, then left, home. Swipe up, then right, open talkback menu. Swipe up, then right. I'm going to go down. Fingerprint gestures, heading. And it's in my fingerprint gesture that I assigned the action to editing. Swipe up on fingerprint sensor, previous reading control. Swipe down on fingerprint sensor, player pause media. Swipe left on fingerprint sensor, read from next item. Swipe right on fingerprint sensor, show editing options. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now I'm going to go back to my keep notes, back to that message. WhatsApp Thank message you. I sent uh, earlier in this year. Showing English. Okay. So what I do now, I'm going to activate my editing mode. Editing options. Move cursor to beginning and list. So I could move cursor to the beginning. 
Move cursor to end. Move it to the end. Cut. Cut. Copy. Copy. Paste. 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 Select all. Select all. Start or end selection mode. Start or end selection mode. Cancel. Or cancel. List. Cancel. Okay. So I, what I want to do here is to go and activate the selection mode. Select all and list. Start or end selection mode. Selection mode up high. In lieu of WhatsApp. So I got the selection mode on. So I want to go to the beginning of my document. Talk back, man. And by the way, I could assign a gesture to it, um, to where I could just do that to take me to the beginning of that uh, line or, or that document. But I just activated the editing mode, and now I'm going to tap on where it says go to beginning of line. Move cursor to beginning and list. Beginning of field. So okay, so now that I'm at the beginning and I'm still in the selection mode, I hope so, I will now swipe down to select high. High, selected. Swipe down again. Next word. In, selected. Blue, selected. Of, selected. WhatsApp, selected. So I want to end my selection here, but I want to first of all Telegram. copy what I just selected. So now I'll again activate the um, menu, the editing menu. Now, if you are using something like um, the multi-finger gestures, you could just uh, use the, the tabs to copy. I mean, I could assign a gesture to copy as well, but I want to go back to that editing mode. Editing options. And now I'm going to tab on copy. Move cursor to cut. Copy. Copied. Hi. In lieu of WhatsApp. Showing recently copied or captured content as candidate. Okay, so now I'm going to end my selection mode. Editing options. Move first. End selection mode. Selection mode off. Selected. And now I'm going to go go to the end of the line and paste this. Editing options. Move first. Move cursor to end. End of field. And now Showing. I'm going to paste that thing at the end Editing here. Options. Move cursor. Paste. Paste it. Hi. In lieu of WhatsApp. So there we are. I just pasted that at the end of my document, which was actually at the beginning of my document. And so that's how you go about appending something to what you already have while you are editing something. There are, like I said, if you are using the TalkBack 9.1 on a device that supports multi-finger gesture, the process is very quick and efficient. However, like I said, I could have assigned gestures as well to do this, but I'm showing it in its default uh, form. Now, of course, you can always use from the TalkBack menu this uh, repeat last um, utterance or copy last utterance, Talk for menu. instance. Navigation. Read from top. Read from next. I copy last spoken phrase. Spell last spoken phrase. Repeat last spoken phrase. And things like that. You could do that Listen right there me. too. But that Before is how you go about me. editing using TalkBack if you're in an edit field. Um, could you also show how you'd go about copying something and appending it that wasn't uh, an edit field? Sure. So let's say, for instance, let's just go to, uh, you know, the Google Home feed. Button, best Android smartwatches, Wear OS, Samsung, more. Uh, good article. <laughs> Back, button, out of list. All right. So here I am. Advertisement. Lip. I'm going to scroll up. In May 2021, Google announced a major revamp to its Wear OS platform with Wear OS 3. The update will be a collaboration between Google, Samsung, and Fitbit and will be the platform's biggest update since 2016. However, it comes with some major impacts for the market as it stands today. Okay, so if I wanted to just copy this, I could just invoke the copy last spoken, and that would be talk back menu. going into my talkback menu. Repeat last spoken phrase, green search, spell last copy last spoken phrase. Copied and make best Android smartwatches. Wear OS. Okay, so I just touched that and so I had copied that. Now, if I didn't want to do that, I could 
Long press here. So I have long pressed this and here for the time web search pop up window select all share I could select Copy. all should May 2020 share select all but I don't want to select all but that's the the thing I could do is to select all and go paste it there and chop off what I don't want but right now though that I've copied what I I wanted this first part that I just talked about or just Heard it read. Let's say I want to go paste it in that thing that I had about the WhatsApp. Let's go Office. back to Folder open. Keep notes. my keep notes. Showing recently copied or captured content as candidate. Keep notes. Hi. In lieu of WhatsApp. Pop so here I am, and that thing is showing here on my on my clipboard. Now I want to append it at the bottom of this thing that I have. So I'm going to activate my editing feature and make sure editing I'm options. at the end of the document. And move cursor to beginning. And let's move cursor to end. Well, let's let's put it at the beginning. Move cursor to beginning. Beginning of field. Okay. Showing item one. Now I could either just uh, go to the editing feature and tap on paste, or secondly, I could long press anywhere here and find and tap on paste. Or third, I could look on my keyboard and the thing that I copied is sitting here. I could just tap on that in, and it'll paste it. And May 2021, Google announced right there. The so if I tap, and May 2021, Google announced a major revamp to its wearable. I just pasted that there right now. So that's at the top of my document now, instead as the high that we had earlier. And that is how you would go about testing or appending something um, like I described earlier. Yeah, I just want to say that the pasting option, you know, when the text appears on the keyboard, it's only available on the Google keyboard or the Gboard, as you can say. Yeah, but um, most keyboards do that. Even Microsoft Swift Key has that feature. Yeah, I don't know which it. keyboard doesn't have that. Samsung keyboard doesn't. And also, uh, yeah, what I wanted to say is um, you would have to turn the keyboard, the Gboard clipboard on to have this feature. If you want to copy or paste or use it as a clipboard. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. I just wanted to put that up there in case people are wondering or wondering why does it work. Since, like, I guess that pacing through the Gboard um, clipboard is much easier. Like, you just touch the text and you double tap and it pastes it. So it's amazing. I like that. Well, it's all, and it will actually, when you go into an edit field, it will suggest, hey, you have something here on your keyboard. You know, you want to paste that, you know, <laughs> and you just, it's right there at the top of your keyboard above the, um, you know, the, the row of um, buttons, and you just tap on that. Of course, when you, you put your finger down, it actually will read the whole thing and, you know, confirming that that's what you have on your clipboard yeah, and you, exactly. could, you could tap on that too. So uh, I, this is what I like about uh, Android because, you know, we have, it's just like Windows, you have more than one way of doing things. If you're not liking one particular way of doing something, you could either use the second or the third method. So I like that uh, flexibility wherein we could choose how we go about accomplishing certain tasks. Thanks, Warren. Uh, a very useful uh, tip of the week, which I think will have answered a lot of the queries we had on the email group.